nice grades. So congratulations to them. Two A's, two B's, five C's, and two D's. Now look, I love y'all. You know that I am not a mean person. I see you guys out. I joke with you. I love to talk with you. But um, you have got to make some changes. If you'll notice, I put a grade in parentheses. Turn to the back of your test. I gave you a proof to memorize. Now I'm going to get a little angry here, okay? I gave you a proof to memorize. Theorem 3.6, proof the last page of your test. I think there was one or two students, probably Alex and Haley, I believe, that got the whole thing right. Guys, there were no fill in the blanks. I just asked you to look it over, be familiar with the proof, be able to write at least to get half of it right. This is really, really bad, guys, okay? I, but that's the grade you would have got in parentheses if you would have done that proof. By the way, Mr. Earhart, number 19 is what killed me. No, it didn't. If you tell your parents that, you're being dishonest. I don't care how bad you butchered and messed up number 19. I don't care. I took off one mistake. One mistake. That's the most you could miss. How many points off there were for one mistake on this test? 1.5. So if you want to check my work and make sure your grade is correct, go through and add up all your mistakes, multiply it by 1.5, and that's the total points you should have missed. 1.5. So I don't care how badly you did on number 19, the most that it cost you was 1.5 points. That means you could have got a 99 because of 98.5 rounds to a 99. Number 19, I am very fair on these proofs, guys. I want you to learn how to do them, but I understand they're really difficult, so I grade very fairly. Number 18, I did not grade fairly at all. I took seven points off. You missed it. Seven mistakes. That's 10, 10 and a half points you lost, and that's how it should be. I told you it would be on there. Guys, I'm not mean, but I told you. Some of you didn't listen, guys. I'm sorry, okay? All right, moving on. Um, let's go over what will be on your quiz tomorrow. Are you ready? Please make note of this. First of all, um, I'm going to have no fill in the blanks on there. Now, you're going to have to study your notes, though. Let me say that again. There's no fill in the blanks, but you have to study your notes. Know everything that I said and also study the homework. That's from Lessons 4.2 and 4.1. Like tonight, you're going to do your homework. So tonight's homework will be on the quiz tomorrow. So lesson 4.1, that's homework you did last week. Lesson 4.2, that's homework you're doing tonight. Those will be on your quiz tomorrow. So anything from your notes, not fill in the blanks, but like questions, just differently. Just study your notes, okay? Study your notes well from lesson 4.1, 4.2. And make sure you can work on a, um, any of the homework problems from lesson 4.1 and 4.2 are fair game for your quiz, okay? All right, let's continue on. Um, that's all for today, students. Please get started with your homework right away and then test corrections. Let me say one more thing about your test corrections. I would not try to do your test corrections in class unless you miraculously finish with your homework. I would not. I would save it tonight, and here's why. You can go through and fast forward the video and watch the ones that say you missed numbers one, three, 